In July of 2021, BC implemented a temporary partial ban on second-generation anticoagulant rodenticides due to the risks they pose to wildlife and pets. Despite the ban, bait boxes with labels indicating banned rodenticides are still being found in areas where they are prohibited. Even worse, wildlife are still being found poisoned. Here are the steps for locating and reporting banned rodenticides in your community. First, be on the lookout for bait boxes around the perimeter of residential buildings, offices, schools, or non-food retail shops, as well as in parks. These are some of the main locations that second-generation anticoagulant rodenticides are now banned. Keep in mind that sadly, these poisons are still permitted in a number of other locations, such as establishments that serve food. Click the link accompanying this video for a complete list of exempt locations. Bait boxes can contain a range of products, so check the label on the outside of the box to identify its contents. If it contains Brodificum, Bromodialone, or Diphethialone, and is in a location where the ban applies, it is a prohibited rodenticide. Next, take photos of the outside of the bait box, as well as a close-up of the label. Make sure to include the ingredient information and pest control company listed on the label. Take a photo of the surrounding location to provide context. Note the address of where the bait box is located, as well as the date and time you found it. To report a violation to the Conservation Officer Services Report All Poachers and Polluters hotline, dial the number on screen or use the online reporting form at rap.bc.ca. Finally, once you've submitted a report to the hotline, you can support the Vancouver Humane Society's Rodenticide Tracking Project by filling out an online form on our website at the link accompanying this video. This will allow VHS to monitor banned rodenticides across BC and identify advocacy opportunities to better protect wildlife from these dangerous and cruel poisons.